My name is Elizabeth Murphy and I'm a willow weaver. Willow is a special type of tree that has long branches that I can bend and tie and weave together to make things. I make baskets, chairs, animals. You can even make houses from it. It's hard work, but I absolutely love it. I live in County Kildare with my son and our collection of animals. I grow my own willow in my garden. It's called a Sally garden, because Sally is the old name for willow. When I decide to make something, I don't have to go to the shop. I just walk out into my Sally garden and take what I need. I grow the willow for my work, but also for its beauty. It grows really quickly. Sometimes it can be like walking through a jungle. It comes in all different colors and sizes. Like a painter uses different colors, I use different types of willow. So this is one of the willows that I use in my work. And it's summertime at the moment, so it has all its leaf. But in the winter time, it doesn't have any leaf. And it looks more like this. And these are the rods that I work with and that I can bend into shapes. to make different things. Here we have lovely light rods. So these would be my weavers. And then with this one, we also have lovely heavy rods. So we've got light and heavy. And that's what we call these willow sticks that are trees. We call them rods. We can bend it like this and make a shape. And then we can use the light one and the light one will actually weave. So we can make a little weave. around, through the middle, and back around and through the middle. And that's weaving with willow. It's great to be able to make things from something that grows naturally. You can make so many things from willow. Chairs, baskets, fences, decorations and animal sculptures. When it gets cold in winter, I love to sit by the fire. I think I'm going to make a big basket to keep my turf and logs in. Because willow comes in so many different shapes and sizes, I have to organise and sort the rods so I can find the right ones for the right job. I'm organising all the willow into different bundles because all the different lengths are going to have different jobs. A big log basket needs tall willows. The smaller willows I use for making smaller baskets, or I can also use them for my animal sculptures. That's our dog Molly. Sorted. Next, I can start weaving the base of my basket. When I begin a new basket, the first thing I have to make is the base. 
I start by making a cross of short, strong willow rods and then begin to weave around them to make a circle. The base has to be very strong and it's curved, kind of like a bowl. Because I like weaving so much, I like teaching other people how to do it. I teach all sorts of people, young and old. But my favourite thing is going into schools and working with children. Two months ago, we planted a willow garden in a local school and it's growing really well. Wow, guys, look at this willow. It's all in leaf. Do you remember planting it? Oh, yeah. And what's special about the willow? The way it grows. Do you remember we were talking about planting a tree and the way that when we push willow into the ground it takes root? So that's how willow is very special and that's how we're able to make this fabulous structure in your garden. And this willow is called Oxford Violet and it's one of my favourite willows because it has that lovely sheen on it. What's this willow over here? Sure, sure, sure. Very good, and it's a lovely orangey colour willow. And these willows here are two-year-old willows, and then these ones are a year. Now we can decorate it. Yes. It's been grown. It's looking great, guys. Children really enjoy the weaving too. I find they get the hang of it very quickly, and it actually helps having small fingers as it can be quite tricky treading the rods in and out. I don't only weave baskets, I also make sculptures and decorations. And one of my favorite ways to get ideas is to go out looking for sticks and branches that I can use to make them with. There's a beautiful forest near where I live and I love to go walking there with my trusty camera and basket. One of the sticks I've collected in the forest has reminded me of a hare, so I've decided to make one. Once I've had an idea, I go on the internet and collect pictures. I also do lots of drawings and this helps me to work out exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Will the hair be lying down, standing up, sleeping or jumping? The closer I look and the more I draw, the better I understand the shape and flow of the hair's body, head and legs. And look at those wonderful ears. I can't wait to get started. This is definitely going to work. Those sticks I found look just like a hare's legs. He's going to be leaping. I'm very lucky to have a big field next to my house. Because of it, I can invite groups over to my place to do weaving workshops. I do a lot of work with the local scouts and today they've come over to learn how to make toy swords. Today's project is going to be a sword. Okay, so we're going to make the frame, we're going to make the shape, and then we're going to weave. The scouts have made some fabulous swords, but has anybody seen them? Making animal sculptures is very different to weaving a basket, but it's very exciting. There are no plans or instructions to follow, 
With my sketches by my side, it's just me and my willow and my imagination all working together to create something new that no one has ever seen before. One of the reasons I love willow is that you can do so many things with it. A few years ago, I planted a willow tunnel in the shape of a caterpillar. The local children love it. With the base made and the rods for the sides in place, it's time to get weaving. This is when the magic begins. And as I work round and around, the basket gradually starts to take shape. By the time I get to the top, I'm starting to feel a bit tired, but I'm so close now. Just a foot and a handle to make. You get really strong arms when you're a weaver. Done, I'm very happy with that. Time to settle down in front of a lovely warm fire with my next basket.